Hey everyone, welcome back to Imagination Storytime. Today I have a delightful treat in store for you. We're going to dive into the world of The Bad Seed by Jory John and Pete Oswald, a heartwarming and humorous tale that will surely bring a smile to your face. In this charming book, we meet a little seed who believes he's the baddest seed in the whole world. But is he really as bad as he thinks? Join me on this adventure as we uncover the story of our lovable little bad seed and discover the power of change, growth, and self-acceptance. Gather around, get comfy, and let's begin our journey. I'm a bad seed. A bad seed. Oh yeah, it's true. The other seeds... They look at me and they say, that seed is so bad. When they think I'm not listening, they mumble, there goes a bad seed. But I can hear them. I have good hearing for a seed. How bad am I? You really want to know? Well, I never put things back where they belong. I'm late to everything. I tell long jokes with no punchlines. I never wash my hands or my feet. I lie about pointless stuff. I cut in line every time. I stare at everybody. I glare at everybody. I finish everybody's sentences and I never listen. And I do lots of other bad things too. Know why? Because I'm a bad seed. A bad seed. I just can't help it. Sure, I wasn't always this bad. I was born a humble seed on a simple sunflower in an unremarkable field. I had a big family, seeds everywhere. We found ways of having fun. We were close. But then the petals dropped. And our flower drooped. It's kind of a blur. I remember a bag. Everything went dark. And then, then, a giant! I thought I was a goner. I thought I was done for. I screamed and I hollered, ah! But I was spit out at the last possible second. Pachoo! I flew through the air and I landed under the bleachers with a huge thud, thud. When I woke up, it was dark outside. A wad of gum had softened my fall. I felt okay, but something had changed in me. I'd become a different seed entirely. I'd become a bad seed. A bad seed. That's right. I stopped smiling. I kept to myself. I drifted. I was friend to nobody and bad to everybody. I was lost on purpose. I lived inside a soda can. I didn't care, and it suited me. Until recently, I've made a big decision. I've decided I don't want to be a bad seed anymore. I'm ready to be happy. It's hard to be good when you're so used to being bad. But I'm trying. I'm taking it one day at a time. Sure, I still forget to listen. And I still show up late. And I still talk during movies and I do all kinds of other bad things. But I also say thank you. And I say please. And I smile. And I hold doors open for people. Not always, but sometimes. And even though I still feel bad, sometimes I also feel kind of good. It's sort of a mix. All I can do is keep trying and keep thinking. Maybe I'm not such a bad seed after all. 
Hey, look, there goes that bad seed. Actually, he's not all that bad anymore. I heard that. The end. I hope you enjoyed this heartwarming tale of the bad seed. Just like our little seed friend, we all have the power to change and grow. If you like this story, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. If you'd like to see more fantastic story times like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on a magical storytelling. Thank you for joining me today. Until next time, keep reading, keep exploring, and keep believing in the power of positive change. I can't wait to share more wonderful stories with you. Goodbye for now and happy reading, everyone.